Hey everybody, welcome back to the Cumulonibus. Kilo Wamp here. And we are back, picking up right where we just left off from. I'm gonna grab some of that cedar because we just crafted some incinerate bolts to take down those birds. Um, let's see, knocking that out. Back on the bike. Glory greens, we're good to go. Man, it really is tough to see stuff at nighttime. Which makes sense. I don't know what you're up to with that thing. Let's go turn in our bounty from like picking up Anderson. Um, and then from there, I want to go to Critter Lake to get those couple bike upgrades because we have like a lot that's due to us right now. Um, the bike upgrades are really expensive, but in order to get like max tank, it requires either level 3 trust or just like spending bread. I think we're going to go ahead and get the radiator upgrade as well. Oh yeah, remember they abandoned us with this runner last time. What up? Captain, I found your man, Anderson, and you were right. He still had his militia insignia. He's dead? Well, let's just say that he had a run-in with a pack of wolves long before I got to him. That's a fitting end for a murderer and a thief. Yes, sir. Thank you, Corporal. Dismissed. It's lit. Mom's well, got the level two. No jobs. Jeez, so I think that this camp didn't have any upgrades, right? So, uh, where are you from? No, what they did. Was it? Was it? Uh, I, I can't place your accent. <laughs> that obvious. Y yeah, for, for, from Canada originally. Yeah, I was down here I on holiday that. with the family. Yeah, doing a bit of camping out, you know, uh, w west of Crater Lake. The wife and kids, uh, my boys, would have been eight and nine this year. Canada, huh? Oh, you're a long way from home. Ah, oh, tell me about it. Yeah, I, I was a teacher, uh, engine repair in Calgary at the Technical Institute. Oh, you ever been? No, no, I guess not. Uh, anyways, the colonel, he, uh, he g gave me this job, so now this is home, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it just reduces water damage. I think that's going to be a good piece of equipment. Yeah, right necessary there. purchase. And thanks, Morty. <laughs> oh, look at these freaking tires, bro! Look at that traction. I think I want that actually. Yep. Might as well spend it if we got it. I don't want nitrous. Uh, damping could also be like quite extravagant. Increased durability. I don't know if that's worth it for like three k. At least not right now at this camp. Yeah. Visual wheels and stuff. I don't think we want anything there. We got what we wanted. Scraps from Shed Eye, and uh, I'll meet you all back at Crater Lake. Oh, collectible. Don't need a fishing license. Diamond Lake to protect. Nice. <laughs> St. John, I've just spoken with the Colonel. He's assigned you to the research division. Captain, uh, research division, or, uh, I guess you would call it that. Uh, I'm helping Lieutenant Weaver and Lieutenant Whitaker. Good. They can use all the help you can offer. I don't know how much help I'm gonna be, and just sort of their errand boy for now. And actually, that's why I radioed in. Lieutenant Whitaker gave me a requisition form that says yeast. Yeast? Hold a second. We have patrols making supply runs throughout the region. When they come across anything of potential value, they note it down. Yes, here. The yeast and other baking supplies were noted in the kitchen area of the Crater Lake Visitors Center. You know where that is? Yeah, I could find it. Good luck, Corporal. Curry out. Big bet. Thanks, Corey. Corporal. Yo. Hey, sir. I. Do hey, I need you're to? On empty. Woo. Want me to fill her up? Look at that refuel. So. Seven hundred credits. Hey, Corporal. But we're at 25%, which probably means a lot since we got the max tank now. We can find uh, some stuff out in the field. Hey, Sarge. Oh, man. What? 
The accuracy is out of this world and that rate of fire is amazing. It's a great little stubby to have on us. Um, right now we have our simp, the RPD. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to get this little stubby right here because if we ever, it has a small magazine, you know, but like if we ever want to like keep some power on us while we do like something else, um, it'd just be nice to have. I like to compare the RPD to the, um, uh, M yeah, MG65, I mean 45. So let's equip this. Thanks. And then come back here a little better. A little better military spec condition and this is average condition so it might be worth picking this up actually uh, I also want this and before we get to the next level we're gonna make like a lot more credits so let's just pick it all up we have everything that we could have gotten from here so what are we gonna walk out with um so I love the auto shotgun it, it's amazing we haven't tried the liberator yet is it more powerful than the auto shotgun? Auto shotgun. No, auto... Sh wait. Yeah, 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 it's more powerful. It has greater stopping power. Right? Am I tripping? No, yeah, yeah, it's more powerful. But it has less stopping power and slightly less accuracy. It's a great weapon. Um, I want to try this. So yeah, we'll hold on to that, and then we'll swap to a little stubby, and sure, RPD. What mission are we running right now, actually? Let's let's tailor our loadout to the mission that we're about to run, Active Storylines. So we're doing this supply run for Sarah. Let's do that. Um, okay. For a supply run, do we have like a good loadout? What do we have? I feel like we have too much like firepower. I think we need something with a bit more range. Yeah. What Let's try this, uh, see how we like it, and then make adjustments later, because that's the only way that I feel like we can make like a definite decision. <laughs> that's the Death Stranding thing. We also changed the decal for I Remember, because we were trying to do that earlier. Oh, you know what? Everyone's probably just like, hey, but what about burning stuff out? Yeah, we got some things that we want to burn out. But I really want to try these guns. So let's do that. This place is crazy. So fortified. Oh, they have their uh, own farming setup as well. It's kind of like if you combine all of the other camps into one camp, you get this one. It's bigger than Lost Lake. Um, it has uh, more of a force than Lost Lake. Kind of like the structure and partnership of uh, Copeland's camp, and maybe like some of the work ethic. Cause they said they also had like a. Horrible Saint John. <laughs> uh, <Wayne> Taylor, <laughs> Saint John. <sighs> Taylor, I hear a bike. Tell me you're not out in the shit tracking down that drug trap. Okay. Okay. Taylor, you're gonna get yourself killed. No, man, no, no. Hey, I followed a bunch of them up the highway. An M7? Hey, hey, it was, no, it was, it was daylight, the weather was clear, and it's a single freak. Uh, but there is this, this group of, of men. Is it visitors sent there? It's gotta be it. Oh, we always uh, interrupt this freaking uh, dialogue. Uh, yeah, well, it's gotta be in the kitchen. <sighs> Plural? They had to be breakers. That couldn't be fucking easy, could it? Oh!
I'm looking for breakers. Wolves are freaking creeping up on us. Yeah, plural. Can they get us up here? Oh, they can. How about that? Three? All right, y'all. Let's go. Run this out. Come on. Let's do what we need to do. Are we faster than them? Yeah. God, they're strong. That's our first time ever getting hit by them. Uh huh. Uh huh. Focus. Where's our stamina, dude? Did we craft it and not use it? A sniper? Uh-huh. That's one. Stagger, stagger. Swerve. Keep the run going. Oh, keep the run. My God. I'm glad we changed our freaking setup. I mean, the auto shotgun could have been like really powerful for this or honestly even having the Talon 7. One, two, three freaking dudes, man. Wow. The range on this isn't bad actually. Yeah, I like this. Let me see your head. Learn something new every day. Oh, look at that. Um, how do we get in here? Front door it is. Oh, Deacon. There's a door there. That did it. Yeast, yeast. There's a thing here. Collectible. Tourism. Uh, those are small pipes. Um, 
some really good stuff over here. I think we're not going to craft any more Malatas. Uh, we'll do like dedicated Here's the yeast. Here it is. Yes. A bag of yeast. This is enough. Burst through there. Jeez, man, this place was tough. No fuel? No fuel around here anywhere? Any fuel? I don't want to pay 700 credits for fuel if we can just like pick some up and refuel all the way everything for free. Is that fuel? Those are suitcases. That's yeah. you, Lieutenant Whitaker, reporting in. Deacon, uh, <clears throat> Corporal St. John, yes. I, uh, got the item on your requisition form, the yeast. There wasn't much. I I'm sure that whatever you have is going to be fine. So, uh, just curious, uh, why do you need... I'm sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. I gotta go. I'll talk to you when you bring it in. Whitaker, out. I can't shoot at it. Let's go, everybody. Let's see. Let's see what this thing's about. Woo oh. Probably like fast and deals like a lot of damage. St. John. Uh, Wade Taylor to Deacon St. John. <clears throat> Taylor. Uh, I hear a bike. Tell me you're not out in the shit tracking down that drug trafficker. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you that, but I am. <laughs> God damn it, Taylor, you're gonna get yourself killed. No, man, no, no. Hey, I followed a bunch of them up the highway. Highway 97? Hey, hey, it was, no, it was, it was daylight, the weather was clear, I didn't see a single freak. Uh, but there is this, this group of, of men ended up at the ski lodge. Did you even know there was a ski lodge out here? I didn't know that. Taylor. It's a sweet ass setup too. If I ever decide to bug out, that is where I'm going. <laughs> oh shit, I gotta run. They're they're stopping at another camp. Taylor out. <laughs> Taylor. Taylor, god damn it. Stupid kid's gonna get himself killed. Mm. Um, I'll meet you all inside. It's a long drive. Would you stop doing that, please? I'm sorry? I know that things are strange, but I can't help that right now. Well, I live in a barracks with a dozen militia assholes. Well, my wife lives in a private tent up on an officer's ridge. Nothing strange about that. Deacon. And the only time that I see her is when I'm done running one of her errands. Nothing strange about that either, ma'am. My yeast, thank you. Uh, are, are you baking something? I mean, if you need an oven, I know no, we're No, no, I'm using it to create <clears throat> viral proteins that they, they trigger these antibodies. <laughs> and of course, you were being sarcastic. Bread, viral proteins, it's all the same to me. Hey, wait a second. Here. Thank you. You already said that. And then for stay. I'd probably stay too. Uh, as you all can imagine, our bike very much ran out of gas before we made it here, so we're just gonna have to drop some credits. No, no, set them over there. Thank you, Corporal St. John. This is Doctor Jimenez. Oh yeah, yeah. St. John. Hey, Doc. This is Deacon. What can I do for you? St. John, good. I need you to step by the infirmary. Uh, is something wrong? You need something? No, no, nothing like that. I want to check on that arm. My arm, my, my arm's fine, Doc. <laughs> a burn like that from a wood stove is nothing to play around with. You want la infección? You come see me. That's in order. Mm. All right, Doc. Whatever you say. St. John out. 
Our bike was in the camp, just so you all know. <laughs> it just wasn't close okay. to us, but it was in the camp. I feel like we should have paid 50 for that. <laughs> let's go see uh, Let's go see the person that wants to talk to us about our arm. How far is he? Uh, all right. Senor Jimenez. Hey, Doc. Uh, Come in. Sentase. Have a seat. Have a seat. Mm -hmm. oh, what? So, who did you ride with back in the day? Uh, <laughs> I don't want you uh, getting that. No me mientas. Look, Corp. I spent 20 years in East L.A. patching up bandas de motoristas and every other kind of pandillero. I know the look. And this? No kind of wood stove beefies. All right, keep it clean. It'll heal on its own. Leave a nasty scar. But I want you to come back and see me in a couple of days. You got it. Funny thing, when the city burned and the hordes came in, neighborhoods at war for decades all came together, fought together. Latinos, Gueros, Chinos, Bloods, Crips. Didn't matter. Crazy what it takes to bring people together sometimes, no? Mm. Thanks, Doc. I appreciate that, Doc. It's like, man, the doctors in these camps, they all seem to be good people. Very cushy, comfortable setup lifestyle, like, you know, Comparative to what's going on out there. Come in. Taylor, Deacon St. John. Taylor, I haven't heard from you in a while. I was afraid that maybe you'd gotten too close to that man you were tracking. Oh, I'm close, all right. I'm right in their friggin' backyard. Hey, I need your help, man. I'm, I'm at, the, at a small camp south of Crater Lake, just off the South Rim Drive. Taylor, listen to me. I have no idea what you're doing, but you got. Oh, shit! No, no, no! no. Let me go! Let's go. <laughs> Taylor. Taylor. Oh, damn it. Uh, damn, that's far. Let's go save Taylor. <laughs> Taylor! Wait! Oh. Come back. Switching to a private channel. Hold on. Deacon, are you there? Yeah. Uh... Hey, so I, I looked at that requisition form. It says that you want silicate? Yeah, silicate. I use it as a distilling medium in the column chromatographer. Oh, column chrom... what? <sighs> Sorry, it's just... it's the one part of my research that's actually going well. So, silicate, where do I get it? Oh, shit, I thought I marked it on the rack. Hold on. Okay, there's this little general store southwest of us near Mazama Village. You should be able to find it there. Okay, got it. Thank you. <clears throat> Carry on, Corporal. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Lieutenant. Sarah, out. Silicate. What the fuck is silicate anyway? Let her rip. So I wonder if our, like. St. John. This is Captain Curry. Come in. Yeah, Captain. I'm here. Well, I just want to let you know that the Colonel gives an informal. Talk every day at dusk at the staging area where you were sworn in. Uh, yes, sir. You know, all these talks are informal. Enlisted men and women are expected to attend. <clears throat> uh, copy that, sir. Hurry up. You know, I've never understood right. that. Nice Bleachers? Uh, yeah, I've never understood it. Like, how can something be informal or like an event's not mandatory, but everybody's expected to attend? Hey, uh, where else am I gonna go? 
And if I leave, they're gonna make me get back this really cool hat, so I'm starting to like this hat. some of the viral proteins I got in that right out here. I'll do that. Lieutenant Whitaker out. Good chance to try a little stubby. Not bad. Gotta get down. Captain Corey, this is Corporal Russell. Come in. Move back, damn it. Move. You heard him. Pull back. Pull back. Russell, report. Sir, we were on a supply run trying to get the Shemult, and we ran into the biggest goddamn horde you've ever seen! Damn it! Move your asses! Come on! Move! You heard the Corporal! Now, Corporal, listen to me very carefully. Get your men out of there. We are not ready to engage. Do you copy me? Yes, sir! You don't gotta tell me twice! Russell out! Come on, move it! Let's go! Good luck. Pull it out! Let's go! 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 Wow, we were that close? Come on, boy. I'll we'll give up. Tell us where your camp is. Maybe we'll let you live. Wish we had a sniper for this. Fuck you. <laughs> Bring him down. I don't think he can hear us. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if we can do something about that. Not the ear. I'm not telling you shit. Come on. Let's do this. Cut up. Ah! Ah! Can you hear that? Ah! 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 Get him the fuck, fuck out of here. here. Come on. Ah! Uh, what do you think? Maybe we can turn this in at that army camp. Get some credits. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm coming, Taylor. Hang in there. Yeah, we on there, fool. Let's see. Ammo-wise, are we okay? We could use some. I don't think we'll need it all for this camp. Uh, I'm almost inclined to take them loud purely because they really upset me what they did to Taylor. But let's stay strategic. I think we're good to go, right? I'm ready to be loud. Oh, that was it. I just gotta find a way in. Kerosene, you love to see it. I love to see it. <laughs> the kerosene's in. Let's grab all this loot. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Now we gotta get in here, right? Listen to me, pal. Take this, hold it against your head like that. Good. Now, I want you to wait here. I'm gonna go radio Captain Curry. He's gonna send someone to pick you up, all right? All right, man. Uh, yeah, hell yeah.
I'm glad Wade's okay. Can we go back in here and like do some stuff or or like or what? Yeah. Captain Corey, this is Corporal St. John. Come back. Right. This is Corey. I'm here with Lieutenant Whitaker checking on your progress. Corporal, I've told Captain Curry that you're an immense help. I don't know what I would do without you. Oh, well, th thank you. Dude. That's great. I, it's not why I'm checking in. Captain, uh, there's a marauder camp just off of South Rim Drive. Marauders? This close to the island? Uh, no, listen, no, no, no. Um, Fuck. I dealt with these bastards, but we have an injured man, Private Taylor. They fucking slice his ear off. Jesus, is he all right? Private Taylor? What was he doing out there? Yeah, he's gonna live. No, no idea what he was doing out there. I need you to send Dr. Uh, Captain Jimenez and some men to come out and get him. And send him to the I'll head up there now and let him know. Hurry out. Reload. Thanks for the help, Freaker. And uh, with that, I'd like to thank everybody for coming here to keep me in the Corporal St. John, come in. I have a job for you. Colonel, yes, sir. I'll be there ASAP. St. John out. Thanks, Colonel. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy. <laughs>